pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, give me some good news, man. Yes, that I got it, you know. They love me, obviously, and they want me to start straight away as well. I'm proud of you, Mickey. You see what I said about prior and faith? Look how it gets you now. So now you can start to pay rent. Copy, is that really what you just said? Don't watch that, though. I got you. But thank you. And dinner's on me tonight, so don't even bother cooking. Just make sure that chicken don't give me the run. Remember what happened the last time? That chicken was alive. It was barbaric. Oh, Dad, allow me. Can't you just let that go? We'll probably just go out with anything anyway. But I've got to go though, yeah? Alright, I'll talk to you later. No, man, I'm done. I can't take this anymore. I'm done. Trust me, this is all long. Done. It's not done. It's done. Well, it's done. Or until the fat lady sings now. I'm not fat, but, uh, Oh, I could sing. <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been See, drinking. See, this is what I'm saying. This is crazy. <laughs> you can't even look after yourself, let alone after your kids. Oh. You're a mess, and I am so glad you are not my mum. If I knew I had the same blood as you, I would have ditched you just like everyone else did. Oh, you'd have ditched me. Zofi, you would have ditched me. <laughs> I'm gonna go stay with Melissa. All right. Ring me when you sorted right. yourself wait, out. Wait a minute. I can't live like this anymore. I need to find a better place for me, for my, myself, by myself. I can't die here in the dirt with you. Yeah, just, just wait a minute though. Wait, no, so, no, wait, no, wait. no, no, no. Just get out of the way. Please. Get out of the way. Don't no. leave me here by get myself. Out the way. No, don't move. leave get me out here. Way. Fine. Fine. So then, you stupid cow. Now I never wanted you. Now I never will. How much of yourself can you sacrifice for the sake of someone's learning before you're whistled down to bone? And when you're laid out and dried under the sun, is it worth it? When they use your skin as a mat on which they kneel, using you for comfort whilst you receive nothing but some idle-minded splatters of laughter and an occasional passing thought. It's an odd truth, but a truth nonetheless, that selfishness isn't always a detriment to your morality and leaning over the edge, grabbing someone to stop them from falling permanently isn't a natural equilibrium. Maybe it's time to lead by example. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sister. Yes, it looks nice. Yeah, it? yeah it looks nice at all. Yeah, it's very good. Well, I'll mm. bring it along some more water. Okay, yes, okay thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let us say grace. Sir. We've got the blessed food that the Lord provide for us. Yeah, my bad, my bad. That's fine. Yeah. Father, we thank you for this food. We thank you for your blessing that make it rich and had it no sorrow to it. We ask of you, Lord, that you will bless this food and sanctify it. The word of God said that the food we eat is sanctified by the word of God on prayer. And we bless it, Lord, with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That come out one of the long prayers, man. Mm. Never mind, son. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm, this is good, son. See? You know, I was worried that you're going to cook tonight, but this is a blessing, sir. I'll cook this at home next time. I must come back here myself. <laughs> I will come back. Tell me, son. Yeah. What's up? You know, having a girl from school school years. Not any that I'm in contact with. Long time ago. I ain't got no numbers anymore. Imagine if I try to call one and now, I'm like, who are you? No, that's embarrassing. Of all these hundreds of girls that go to your school, you know, she nobody you love? Yeah. Lots of strong words. No, I know obviously I had like old school girlfriends, but you know, that's like, that's puppy love, you know what I mean? That's nothing serious. Yeah, so, me, me understand the popular business. Mm. But you got to get serious and settle down. That's what I'm trying to tell your son. Right, so ne ne next thing you're going to try and hook me up with someone from church, yeah? No, well, I'll tell you what you do. I'll yeah. tell you what you do. I tell you what you do. One of the best things in life is to find a good woman in the church. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I'll, when I come to church Sunday, give me a chat, but like, no, go up to one of the girls and say, oh, you know, uh, give, me, give me some tips. Well, God give you eyes to look. Ugh. And you got to use it and look. <laughs> and when you see beauty, 
Then you say, yeah, and go after it. And just run up in the church and just, yeah, yeah, grab her. Mm. Not necessarily. You got to study the woman. <laughs> study her. Right? And watch her and see her movement. Make sure she loves you. Mm. And she will be faithful to you. And get to know her. Take her for a dinner and all like that. And, you know, get to know her and know her background and all like that. And then you will say, yeah, this woman is mine. By the way, I know a nice lady in the church with suit, you know. <laughs> use this now. Which no, one? man, let me tell you the truth. She's a hot Christian. She knows the Lord, she loves the Lord, and all like that. And, yeah, you love me, you love me, see what Because I want to fit the name. Now, what, what's the name? You, you don't know her name, but you just go and buy what she looks well, like. Well, when you come to church, let me show you her. And yeah. when you see her, you will know for yourself, say, well, this is the lady for me. And then you can, you can invite her out for a meal or take her to some place, you know, the seaside or something like that and get to know her. And when, when you know her, you see, when, when communication is a wonderful thing. And when you start to talk to the lady and she talks to you, you find that she starts to phone you. And then you phone her back and then she phone you and you phone back. And eventually the, something starts. I don't, I don't know how it goes. And then, goes. my son, you go after the ring. Because the ring is the thing. Spud you in that rhyming. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Eh? Nice you have a drink to it? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, right. Eh? Nice one. Eh? Gosh, you didn't even want to know, like, man, that woman is just, just too much. Yeah. This is my room. You're not stupid here anyway. Oh, I don't know. You can't help. He's going. No, I'm alright, thanks. Oh, I'm so tired. You know I'm nosy, in it. What you got in there? Just some jumpers, t-shirts. I uh, got some more stuff in my suitcase. Fam. We are going shopping first thing tomorrow morning, man. We need to take you out because this can't run. I know, but life has just been crazy. So I've been out of touch with things, which is why mm. I'm glad I can create a fresh start. So Listen, now you've been through a madness here, but my house is your house. Hey, watch us tear up the city tomorrow, boy. <laughs> I'm not ready. You imagine it. Hey, what else you got though? You got a big old suitcase here. I know, I just got about mainly t shirts and jumpers and that. Yeah, shop me then. Wardrobe re evaluation. Oh my god. You have some people in this, in this world, then go home to a dog because that's all they have. <laughs> but me want you to go home to a wife. <laughs> oh, daddy, crap me up. Just, oh, yeah. You got mm. drugs, man. You got drugs. So now, right? Yeah. I'll go with you. Mm. Yes, one. Finally, I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you're proud of me. I'm proud, I'm proud of, of you. you. I'm proud of you, my dad. I respect you. you know, it's not every day someone can say they've got a good Christian and father that brings him up really well. I understand. And I told you that. You see, God honor marriage, you know. And he respects marriage. And that is the reason why I'm encouraging you the best I can. I don't know when I'm going to the dirt, the dust. I don't know when. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, maybe another 10 years. I don't know. But as long as I have life, I love you, my son. And I want to see the best for you. If you have any problem, don't be afraid to call me. You can share your problem with me. I'm your father. You can share your problem with me. Don't be afraid. Don't hide nothing from me. Instead of telling your friend, come tell your dad. Because your friend let it down. But your dad now let it down. How that sound? That sounds good. Too. Nice one. Love you too, dad. That's wonderful, son. Thank you very much. Love you too.